Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some major news coming out of Australia during King Charles's official visit, and it's a story you don't want to miss. Things took a dramatic turn when Aboriginal Australian lawmaker Lydia Thorpe interrupted the King's speech with some powerful words that have sparked conversations across the globe. We'll break down what happened during this unexpected moment, what it means for the King's tour of Australia, and the broader issues surrounding reconciliation with Australia's First Nations people. But before we dive into the details, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. Your support helps us bring you the latest royal news and in-depth discussions. And we'd love to hear your thoughts on the situation, so make sure to leave a comment at the end of the video. Now, let's get into it. During what was meant to be a formal and diplomatic event in Canberra, Australia's capital, King Charles III was interrupted just after delivering a speech to Australia's parliament on Monday, October 21st. The King had sat down when Lydia Thorpe, a senator and a vocal advocate for Aboriginal rights, stood up and began shouting from the back of the chamber. This unexpected protest immediately caught the attention of those in the room and soon made headlines worldwide. Thorpe's words were bold and emotional, addressing both the King and the British monarchy's colonial legacy in Australia. She began with an accusation of genocide and then moved on to call out the monarchy's history of taking land from Indigenous Australians. In a video clip shared by The Telegraph, Thorpe can be heard saying, Give us what you stole from us, our bones, our skulls, our babies, our people. She continued, You destroyed our land. Give us a treaty. We want a treaty. We want a treaty with this country. Her impassioned speech didn't stop there. As she was being escorted out of the Great Hall of Parliament House, she continued shouting, This is not your land. This is not your land. You are not my king. You are not our king. Lydia Thorpe is no stranger to political activism. As an Aboriginal Australian politician, she has spent years campaigning for a treaty between Australia and its First Nations people. A treaty, in this context, would be a formal agreement recognizing the sovereignty of Indigenous Australians and addressing the historic wrongs they have endured, including the colonization of their land by the British Empire. Thorpe's calls for a treaty have become a focal point of her political platform. As the BBC reported, she has long advocated for the rights of Indigenous Australians to be acknowledged and for reparations to be made. Her protest during the King's speech is just the latest example of her unwavering commitment to this cause. Despite the dramatic interruption, King Charles was reportedly unruffled by the protest. According to sources, the King remained calm as Thorpe was removed from the chamber, choosing not to respond directly to the outburst. Buckingham Palace did not issue any official comment on the protest, but a palace source did highlight the overwhelming support the royal couple received from the Australian public. The source noted that the King and Queen were deeply grateful to the very many thousands who turned out to support them and expressed regret that they couldn't meet with more people personally during their visit. The warmth and scale of the reception was truly awesome, the palace insider said. This calm, diplomatic response aligns with Charles's broader strategy of acknowledging the complex history of Britain's colonial past while focusing on building bridges with former colonies, many of which are now Commonwealth nations. In the minutes before the interruption, King Charles delivered a speech in which he acknowledged the First Nations people of Australia and paid his respects to the traditional owners of the land. In my many visits to Australia, I have witnessed the courage and hope that have guided the nation's long and sometimes difficult journey towards reconciliation, the King said, as reported by The Telegraph. His comments were seen as a nod to the ongoing efforts to heal the wounds between Indigenous Australians and the broader population. Reconciliation has been a major political and social issue in Australia for decades, and it's clear that King Charles aimed to address this during his visit. This wasn't the first time that Charles had spoken on the topic. Throughout his life, both as Prince of Wales and now as King, he has frequently spoken about the importance of acknowledging historical injustices while looking toward a future of greater understanding and respect between nations and peoples. To understand why this protest occurred, it's important to consider the broader historical and political context. 
For Indigenous Australians, the British colonization of the continent led to centuries of oppression, the loss of land, and devastating cultural and physical violence. Many Indigenous Australians continue to live with the legacy of these injustices, and Lydia Thorpe's calls for a treaty are part of a larger movement to seek justice and recognition for these communities. While Australia has made some efforts to reconcile with its Indigenous peoples, including the 1992 Mabwa decision that overturned the notion of terra nullius, land belonging to no one, and recognized Indigenous land rights, many advocates feel that these efforts have not gone far enough. A treaty, they argue, would be a significant step forward in formally acknowledging the sovereignty of Indigenous Australians and beginning to right the wrongs of the past. Thorpe's protest, though dramatic, underscores the tensions that still exist in Australia today, especially in the context of the country's relationship with the British monarchy. For some Australians, particularly within Indigenous communities, the monarchy is a symbol of the colonial power that dispossessed their ancestors of their land and culture. The public reaction to Thorpe's protest has been mixed. On one hand, many people, especially within indigenous communities and their supporters, have praised her for speaking truth to power and using her platform to bring attention to the ongoing struggles of First Nations Australians. On the other hand, some have criticized the timing and manner of her protest, arguing that it was disrespectful to interrupt the king during his speech and that such a protest could have been conducted in a different forum. As always, discussions about indigenous rights and reconciliation are deeply emotional and complex, and this incident has reignited those debates both in Australia and abroad. Despite the disruption, King Charles and Queen Camilla continue their royal tour of Australia and the Pacific. As we mentioned in our previous video, the King is on a lighter schedule due to his health concerns, but there are still several key engagements planned, including a visit to the Sydney Opera House and a meeting with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander leaders. As the King wraps up his time in Australia and prepares to move on to his next destination, the conversations sparked by Lydia Thorpe's protest will likely continue to reverberate. What remains to be seen is how the King and the Australian government will address these ongoing calls for a treaty and whether there will be any further developments in Australia's reconciliation process. What do you think about Lydia Thorpe's protest? Do you think her words will have an impact on King Charles's relationship with Australia? Should a treaty be introduced between Australia and its First Nations people? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more updates on King Charles's tour and other royal news. We'll be back with more stories, so stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video.